Hey guys, my name's Aaron. Uh, I want to teach you about Unity and I want you to use all the tools that you currently use. Figma, Illustrator, uh, uh, Photoshop, doesn't matter. I'm gonna teach you how to make the stuff, how to export it and how to just get it visible on Unity. All right, so let's, let's do that to begin with. I've just pressed File, New and I've opened a project. We just wanna get an image on the screen, that's the goal. Uh, on this left-hand side, you can see the hierarchy. That's where your layer panels is, basically. So if you look at it at uh, Figma, you've got your layers sitting on the left. Um, it's, the, it's the same thing. If you've got your game, so this is what the game looks like. Imagine it in like a preview mode, like when you press play in Figma. This is exactly what that is. And this is the scene. This is where uh, you're editing. This is the, the editor. Down here, you've got all your files. Uh, and then over here, you've got the inspector. Once again, very similar to this right-hand side. Side. Imagine that you've just made a square. You click on it, and you got a. Uh, you can inspect all the stuff over here. It's exactly what it's like. So, firstly, nothing can. Uh, no images can actually be seen here uh, unless they're on a canvas. And that's our tool. That's what the designers will use for UI designers in game for most of the part will be, everything will be on a canvas. So what we do on this right hand side, on this left hand side is we right click, we go UI and we go canvas. Leave that as is, I don't need to call that anything different. There's a couple of things you need to do to get it ready so you can start putting images on it. Uh, you need to change this canvas scaler uh, to scale with screen size and set that to 1920. By, tw by 1080 and that's basically the reference revolution re reference resolution the same as in figma when you set an artboard that's basically makes it easier so when we're designing assets here then when we export it we know it's going to be that size uh, and then it can start the scaling and the uh, responsive layout that we can build out uh, it's really important that in this game mode that in this uh, seen here that you've set it to full HD to match that. If you've got it to free aspect, which I think it defaults to, uh, you're going to, you're going to get some uh, weird stuff happening here and I'll show you why. So when you click on anything here, if you press F, you'll jump to it and you'll focus on it very handy. So we'll click on the canvas, we'll press F and you can see this big white square uh, rectangle is the canvas. Uh, and then we click the 2D button here and it now looks like uh, a canvas. So it looks like an artboard. It should be just easy. We can just grab an image and just drop it and drag and drop it in there. You're wrong. Uh, never assume that. Uh, Unity is counterintuitive when it comes to that, but I'll teach you. I'll show you. So imagine you've got your, uh, your Figma file here. Uh, I've got images here that are just sitting in an auto layout. Um, I'll grab one of them. So it's all it is is uh, it's, got a, it's got a fill. Um, it's got a stroke, it's got a drop shadow in the background. So we're going to press export, export the rectangle, and I've already got it here as background square. We'll save it there, we'll replace it, it doesn't matter. We're then going to go into Unity, and we'll drag and drop it in here. Now we have background square one. I'll delete this other one, make it easier. So we have background square, so that should be simple, right? You can just grab that and drag it on. No, no, nah, that's not how it works. It's not how Unity works. You have to uh, select it, and then in the inspector panel, you have to select a bunch of options to make sure that it works the way you want it as a designer in Unity. So set the texture type to Sprite, 2D, and UI. Set the Sprite mode as Single. And then you can leave uh, that as tight. Um, and then if we press apply, we, we touch nothing else and press apply, you can see that uh, it's now fixed this bottom bit here. Uh, if you were to go alpha as transparency and turn that off and press apply, you can see that uh, that's a, a definite option that you need to keep ticked. Uh, if you want to keep the transparency of any background elements uh, and the wrap mode, sometimes this gets set to repeat. Um, but you need to change it to clamp and that will keep things really nice and crisp. So now that we have that there, we can drag and drop it. it. No, we can't. Don't drag and drop it. Never drag and drop it. Okay, cool. We'll stop that. In our canvas, we'll need to put it in a container, put it in inside, inside an object. So we right click uh, the canvas. Everything we need is mostly in UI. I'm going to say mostly. Press image. 
and then now we have a uh, an image just and this image is just a uh, is just a color. We are going to drag and drop. Yes, we can do it this time into source image. And then we now have an image there that our image is actually there. It's all being being shown. Uh, so we press set native size and that will send it to the exact same size that we exported it at, which is 210 by 210. You can see here. And there are some things now you can, uh, it's easy to resize. That's stuff that we're kind of used to reposition and things like that. Um, there's even a way to, you know, anchor it down to the, the corners and things like that. Uh, we'll set it back to native size. So now we have an image on Unity. Fantastic work. Let's go to the next thing.